Thanksgiving Day 2019. This is a, a new show, an experiment that I'm going to do every day for the next 90 days. I'm right here on this terrace looking out on beautiful Manhattan. I'm doing it because I have something to prove. I want to prove to myself that I can do something every single day without fail. I want to prove to myself every single day that there is so much gratitude and goodness out in the world to focus on. And I want to prove that something can be done from next to nothing when you put your mind to it. About a month ago, I was living in my car. And then I came upon the most amazing apartment I'm not gonna let it go to waste. So I wanna share it with all of you. I wanna use it as a platform to create something interesting. Now, by the way, I, I'm, I'm kind of a softie sometimes. I cry a bit, so these are tears of joy. I'm pretty excited about this because I believe that gratitude has the power to transform regular days into extraordinary, awesome days. To transform boring jobs into something joyful, and to turn problems into opportunities because it's all in our attitude and it's all in how we see it and how we choose to act because we can only control ourselves, right? So this was called The Good News but I made this sign about a week ago and since then I think it would be more apt to call it Gratitude News because this is all about being grateful to do this it's all about showcasing things, good news to be grateful for, and just be grateful to be a part of this amazing human race. So without further ado, we're gonna jump right into some good news. <clears throat> Our first good news comes out of Stanford, Stafford, Connecticut, where, I can't read my own writing. <laughs> I wrote this so fast that uh, it's challenging to read my writing. So this is an experiment and it's gonna get better, but I'll correct this if it's wrong in the comments below. But looks like Edward Cert and his wife were driving to dinner when they spotted a burning car. Edward and his wife stopped the car. Edward jumped out to action. He saw a man inside of the car. He jumped, grabbed that man out of the car, rescued him, and as he was walking down the street, turning the corner to safety, the car exploded. Gentleman who was saved, his name is, I believe, Glenn, Glenward Little. And uh, he's looking forward to spending more time with his grandchildren, he says. And I think that's just a pretty beautiful act of uh, heroism. And I gotta say, when I was collecting this news today, there was so much news to choose from. There's so much bad news. We all know this. There's also a ton of good news, and there's a ton of people that have already made Instagram accounts and YouTube accounts and all these things. I know I haven't seen YouTube accounts, but Instagram accounts that I've dedicated to them. So there's, there's a lot out there. It was pretty cool. This was actually challenging to figure out what good news that I wanted to share with them. So my next piece of news here, or our next piece of news, is four years ago. 2016, 62-year-old Arizona grandma, Wanda Dench. She was texting what she thought was who she thought was her grand, grandson. When in reality, to not put any special dress on, do my hair, any of that, because that would have just provided extra time, potentially wasted opportunity. The wind has been howling all day, 
ridiculously fast and loud and it just stopped. So I decided to take this opportunity and also like, do I really need to do my hair? Maybe in the future. Today, it's about getting started. So back to the story. Four years ago today, Wanda Ditch was texting her, she thought it was her grandson, but she actually was texting now 20 year old Jamal Hitton, Histon. Also, we'll correct this down below. And Jamal responded and said, Hey, offer still stand? Can I come for Thanksgiving? And she had him for Thanksgiving. Jamal came over and they've been carrying out the tradition for the last four years, every year. So right now, Jamal and Wanda are having Thanksgiving in Arizona and they are an awesome couple of friends. It's pretty good. You know, Thanksgiving is an interesting thing. Forgetting about the historical significance of it because there's a lot of and do shenanigans and controversy around what actually Thanksgiving in America means, but if we can acknowledge that and also look at it as a day to just remind ourselves that every day we should be grateful, can be grateful, excuse me, should language I believe is pretty toxic, uh, pretty, pretty dangerous, uh, woulda, coulda, shoulda, uh, doesn't really do anything except cause problems. Every day we can be grateful. Every day we can choose to wake up in the morning and be grateful. And I challenge you to do 10 seconds of gratitude, thinking or talking to yourself or just thinking of one thing in the morning you're grateful for and really feeling that in the morning. And it'll shift your whole day. At least it has for me and everyone I know that has done that or taught me that. So our next story is about a stray dog in Ontario, Canada who was found on the side of the road tending to and protecting five cute kittens. Uh, local shelter is now handling everything and the uh, story blew up on Facebook so you may have already heard about it but I think it's just pretty sweet. You have just a stray dog whose name is by the way now Serenity. Just, you know, a different breed of animal helping out. So beings in need. So I'm proud to be on Team Human and you know, this is going to be a platform to do a little preaching. And the uh, thing I want to preach about is cooperation and helping each other and acting in love versus fear. That shit is crucial, important for our survival as a human race. Or not just our survival, for us thriving. Because maybe we can survive for some time without it, but we can never thrive without cooperation and love. All right, our next story. This one comes from MIT CSAIL, C-S-A-I-L, which stands for Computer Science Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. <laughs> um, and uh, MIT CSAIL, in collaboration with Massachusetts General Hospital, created a new deep learning model that can predict breast cancer up to five years in the future. And this is no small study. 60,000 mammograms. All it takes is one mammogram in order to predict. 60,000 mammogram patients were studied and they got this data. That's significant. That's awesome. That's that's some good news about AI, which we don't hear a lot, right? We don't hear enough of that. And there's some really cool stuff that technology is doing. That makes it sound small. There's changing our entire freaking world and how we communicate and it's allowing me to do this right here. So there's a lot of good news. There's a lot of uplifting news, a lot of news to be grateful for around technology. And that's a cool one. Another piece about this same piece, uh, the same news, the professor who led this study, creating the new AI deep learning model that can predict breast cancer up to five years in the future, is MIT professor Regina Barzilay. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, this amazing human being led the research and is actually a survivor of breast cancer herself, which is pretty awesome and speaks to doing the work that, like, how is that for a mission driven? Project. How is that for really like affecting change in your, your world? It's something you know deeply and have experienced deeply. What are you? What, what have you experienced deeply? How can you utilize that to create change in the world in a small way within your community, within your house, within yourself first and foremost, within ourselves? I wonder. All right. So the next piece of news, as my fingers fall off out here. It's uh, 39 degrees is what it looked like, or 
it feels like 39 degrees. It's one of those. It feels like 39, so we'll just call it 39. Um, this one is Tennessee Judge Richard Dinkins. Richard held the baby, this judge. He held a baby, bouncing this baby up and down while he swore in Juliana Lamar, the mother's, the, the baby's mother, to become a lawyer, an attorney, excuse me, in Tennessee. And this happened because Juliana asked the judge, can you please hold my baby? I want him to see me, I want him to be here for this moment because I do everything for him, I'm paraphrasing. She said she does everything for her baby, and that's just, I think that's beautiful. And another just purpose and passion and reason. Like we, we're told a lot about passion and find our passion and find our purpose. We look outside a lot of those things, but like looking inside and figuring out what is your purpose and passion, and it doesn't have to be because, you know, some elaborate external thing of traveling the world. It might be, maybe it is, and no judgment on you if it isn't, but sometimes it might be just affect change in one person's life. It might be to improve your own life in some way, shape, or form, which will probably improve the lives of others connected to you. So, yeah, I just makes you think different about uh, what this whole you know pursuit of passion and, and purpose is. So, we have. I think this is the last piece. We'll see when I flip the page, but do the little news thing right there. Oh, podcast mic just fell down. Seattle Seahawks, Bobby Wagner, today, in, uh, actually I don't know that this was today, I don't have that, that's not necessarily the case, but this is recent. Seattle Seahawks, Bobby Wagner, paid for everyone's groceries in a Seattle convenience store for 30 minutes. Didn't tell anyone, just as they came to the register, he said he thought it would be cool if people came to the register and just realized it was already all paid for which I think is pretty cool. I excluded the name of the company because I'm not trying to make this about promoting brands or agendas or anything like that. This is free of races, genders, and it's for everyone. It's just for everyone. It's, it's, for, it's for uplifting. So no matter who you are, no matter where you are, and there's probably gonna be some brands that'll slip in here and there, but they're not paid, um, and I'll try to avoid them especially if it seems like it's an uplifting thing that was paid for. Maybe I'll change that in the future. I don't really know. This is the first one. So I'm thinking these through a lot of this stuff as it's happening. But that's kind of cool because when we just do something, we learn through doing. And I'm totally learning through doing right now. So that's the end. That's the end of our show. Be sure to subscribe down below. Or uh, if you're listening to this on podcast, subscribe wherever your subscribe button is. And my ask is you share this with one person. Don't share it with everyone. It's not for everyone. Some people are gonna not for probably have one friend you share this with that will appreciate it, that it will uplift their day. So be someone that uplifts someone else's day. And my intention is to keep this to be a, a not-for-profit venture, something that perpetuates itself growing and spreading uplifting news not to become a platform to make a bunch of money from. Uh, that's it. So this is happening.